Good afternoon. Welcome again. Thanks for joining us for another interview in the series A Story to Tell. Today we have Mr. Hartman Fletcher who is going to be sharing with us today. Welcome Mr. Fletcher. Thank you sir. How are you doing? I am so blessed. All right. Just walk us through your earlier years. Okay. I was born in a little place on the called Jonestown. Okay. In Kingston in Kingston, mm -hmm. 44 Penn Street to be exact. Mm -hmm. And that is on the 22nd of June, 1951. I grew up in Jonestown. I lived there for, from birth to 18 years before I left. I attended Alpha infant school, mm -hmm. Alpha junior school, mm -hmm. Alpha senior school, mm -hmm. which was later renamed Holy Trinity. Holy Trinity, okay. Yeah. And all of that is owned by South Camp, Camp Road. Road. Yes. In the village near Sabina Park. Park, okay. So okay. how many siblings you, you had? My mother had six of us, you know, four boys two girls mm -hmm. and all of us all six of us went to the same school mm -hmm. and in those days you know it's hand me down mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's not like no every, every year you get a different book list yes so my sister book list would come down to me then yes. go down to my brother and go down everybody right down get, the line. get a every, share every yes so you have to carry your books mm -hmm. Okay, so were you living with your mother alone or your father was there? Or? Both of us, both mm. parents, mother mm -hmm. and father. Mm -hmm. My father, he attended Alpha Boy School because his father died early mm -hmm. and his mother had another at five. Okay. And this was difficult so two of the boys mm -hmm. when I'm bored at Alpha Boy School mm -hmm. and he learned he was a barber mm -hmm. when he left school he was a printer mm -hmm. and he was a musician okay he, all, he learned that all of that at Alpha, Alpha Boy, Boy School. School yes and I guess they are still doing that today is training people in the performing arts and stuff music Alpha is the same one yes, as same one. Same, yeah. same Alpha Training the boys to play the instruments and yeah. thing. So tell us a little about your mother now. Mother is from Manchester. Mm -hmm. uh, district. Just before you get into Manchester called Comfort. Mm -hmm. That is where she was born and grew up. Mm -hmm. For the early part of her life she attended. Uh, the school sleeping name. Was that school in yeah. the area? Wesley Mount. Wesley Mount? Yeah, elementary school. Wow. Wesley Mount Elementary School. Oh. And she left when she was a teenager and come to Kingston. Mm -hmm. And that is where she met, met her Prince Charming. Oh my God. <laughs> so tell us about your school, early school years at Alpha coming up to the, um, the infant, the primary. And the, scene. the infant school, school in those days is like, like, not like today. You know. mm -hmm. School was school and teachers was teachers. Not that we are not, they, they don't have teachers today, but the, the structure, the discipline, yeah, is different. Yeah. So you go through, all of us go through infant school. When you come up here, when you reach age 6, you go over to the junior school. Mm -hmm. And when you reach age 12, you go over to the senior school. Mm -hmm. And unlike today, mm -hmm. I couldn't ask my parents to bus here. You had to walk from Jonestown. Walk from Jonestown 
come across Hero Circle. Come to go all man down. Hero Circle now. Race course. Race course. Yeah, that's right. Go to all race course, to all man town, mm -hmm. and go to school. Yes. And we can be late. Yes. And when school over, we make the return trip. Yeah, and it come like nothing at that nothing, time. Nothing, mm -hmm. nothing, nothing, nothing. So you did common entrance and those things? <laughs> yes, you know. <laughs> I did the common entrance at 11. Yes. And I passed half. In those days, mm -hmm. you can pass half. To get a scholarship. You get a scholarship. Mm -hmm. So if you pass half, your parents would pay half of the, the tuition. tuition. Mm -hmm. Well, my teacher, <laughs> with, her wit, with her wise self, tell my father say I have another chance. Yeah. So, he must be there, must allow me. To try again and to make try it go again for the full scholarship. And get the full scholarship. Yes. How did that work out? Never even passed quarter. Jeez. This time. <laughs> feel, 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 feel. Yeah? Feel. Father was very disappointed. Very, very disappointed, but mm -hmm. him taking a good stride. Yes. You know? So instead of going after, I, will, I, I took a money chance with judges. So mm -hmm. instead of going after judges, we went to the senior school. The senior school. Mm -hmm. Vis-a-vis Holy Trinity. Yes. Mm -hmm. So how were your years at um, Alpha Senior School, eh? Holy Trinity? It was. It was a good experience. Mm -hmm. You learn discipline. We had two male teachers and staff. Mr. Gardner teach woodwork. Mr. Spence teach metal work. Mm -hmm. Anytime you misbehave, the females don't 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 punish you. They send you to Mr. Gardner. Or Mr. Spence. Or Mr. Spence. Yes. I remember Mr. Gardner have this famous saying, boy, bend and touch your toes and take your blows. <laughs> so you have to bend over. Yes, I get the cane in. And you get the cane in. <laughs> you know, so it was fun. It was good, and the teachers had your interest at heart. Mm -hmm. You know, and the discipline was there. You hear people talk, and you believe it's joke. When you go to school, them say, nails. Mm -hmm. You do like this. Yeah. And if your nails dirty, punishment, they push a comb through your ear. Mm -hmm and you can't book. Mm -hmm. That means you don't comb. They yeah. are not a comb, a pencil. A pencil. A pen. Mm -hmm. Through your ear. Mm -hmm. And if it book, that means yeah. you will comb. comb out. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and you have to do your homework, you get your homework. Mm -hmm. And thing, I, 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 I must share experience with you. Holy Trinity, have, I, I had some people who became famous after. While I was school together, people like Castle Blair, Harvey Edwards, Kenneth Bob Campbell, all of them play football for Jamaica. And <clears throat> when we left, about nine boys from Holy Trinity they get a scholarship to VA Technical mm -hmm. because of football. Mm -hmm. I also got a scholarship, but my father said too far. Mm -hmm. I live in Jonestown, I can't go VA Technical or we would not. Bills Clarendon. Yes. So he didn't send me. But I didn't regret it. And this was about 1966. School life, this is where we sit down. This was this was where it's at. Uh -huh. When you get holiday, when you get summer holiday, we plan to two up we had. Yes. And this is where we all cook and care food and we never have no zoo, and no, but we have the maze and lovers lane and, mm -hmm. you know, we had a good time. This was where it's at mm -hmm. that time, oh God, mm -hmm. when we get holidays. So after Holy Trinity, um, Alpha Senior, you, pro you went on to what now? <clears throat> okay, very interesting, and I think it's the most significant part of my life. Just. When we finish Holy Trinity, my father decided that since he didn't, he didn't send me to VA Technical, he enrolled me in Grantham College. Mm -hmm. 
That's Grampton College. Grantham College. That was right at Elgin Road on mm -hmm. Benford Road corner. Yeah. That's where the school was. So I am to begin Grantham College January of 1968. Mm -hmm. As I told you before, I used to play football for Holy Trinity and we had a final match in December. We used to play Thompson and Key and Aguilar Cup. Mm -hmm. We have an Aguilar Cup final match at the stadium. When we played the match, we lost the match to St. Aloysius 2-1. I was very disappointed. This was the 7th of December, 1967. Mm -hmm. Disappointed, I went home and when I went in, I saw my mother and my brother and sisters them crying. Mm -hmm. I said, what happened? They said, dad are dead. Oh, okay. So that's what call the father. I said, dad are dead. Mm -hmm. What not about? And they said, yes. Or really, my father came down with some illness and he went to the doctor. Doctor Ford. He was a family doctor. Anybody sick, go to Doctor Ford, right at Ascot Street mm -hmm. at Bonestone. And he was given a penicillin in injection, injection. Mm -hmm. and he died instantly. Mm. Allergic? Allergic reaction. My died. God. Well, the nurse said after he got the, the injection, he got up. In about five seconds, and pint like him pint in the four corner of the room and just capsized and he just dead. Yes. And listen, when I hear that, my, 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 my brain starts to work over time. My mother of six of us going to school. Mm -hmm. My mother used to work 18 shillings a week. In today's money, that is one dollar and eighty cents per week. Mm -hmm. Rent for pay whenever one a year. We still have to pay light bill at them time. I have to buy, buy food, lunch money, and take care of the family. And, and you were the eldest boy. I was the second child, but the mm -hmm. eldest boy. Mm -hmm. I have a sister who was bigger than me, mm -hmm. older than I am. So you started to think that all the responsibility. I become a man that night. Immediately. Immediately. Overnight. He became a man overnight. Yes, I just started to I hear that phrase all the time. But and I started to say, well, what happened? Where was over? Where was live? And I made a decision to myself, say, I have a look at work. Mm -hmm. Is that 16 year old boy? No? 16. I have a look at work because mama alone can manage. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we stuck it out and we buried our father. Mm -hmm. Church of St. Peter Cleaver and he was buried in the Maypen Cemetery. Mm -hmm. The funeral finished about 6 o'clock in the evening. Yes. And I never leave Maypen Cemetery till after 10. Still morning? Just, just bend down on my father's grave after. Like them cover up and it's not like now we have vault. It's yeah. just a raw dirt them dig. Yeah. Put in the casket and take the raw dirt and the straight over. And that's it. And that's it. I remember one of my uncle came and said, Come, let's go. And my mother said, Leave him. Give him some time. Leave him. Mm -hmm. And after ten, I come out of Maple Cemetery. Maple Cemetery. Mm -hmm. Well, as I say, I live in Jonestown, so it's just a little walk up yeah. East, Little King Street. Oh, go across Little King Street and go, and up. go up and reach mm -hmm. home. And I start to contemplate, contemplate. Mm -hmm. He had a, had a pin tree, right? Yes, my father was a businessman. Mm -hmm. As I tell you, he had a pin tree, a pin tree and he, he played music on the North Coast mm -hmm. for a living. Yes. So then, he come, every, he come Sunday morning mm -hmm. or before the Sunday. He will be there Sunday. Monday morning, he'll leave and go to print tree. That is where I learned trade because I am a printer by trade mm -hmm. and he teach me the trade. But you have a lady named Miss Lynn. Mm -hmm. What's she the run the print tree. She assists him. Mm -hmm. So he'll be there and then he will leave Monday evening 
go to the country and you know, come back maybe like Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Me used to play music at Sharp Park Beach Hotel, never forget it. Me used to play an instrument, the string bass, mm -hmm. not the little bass guitar, the, the tall mm -hmm. string bass. So that is what I used to play. Then come back Wednesday before they go back down Wednesday evening mm -hmm. and come back up Sunday. Mm -hmm. Ironically, we used to get beaten every Sunday. Mm -mm. That to serve you until Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> My sister, God's rest her soul, she deceased. She had a book. Mm -hmm. And everything she wrote in there? We do for the week, she writes it. A journal? Everything. <laughs> And when my father come up on a Sunday, Sunday man. Yeah, she just show him. And him start to have him breakfast because she was so beside him. Mm -hmm. And start to reload. Mm -hmm. Bring him up to speed. Where everybody do. <laughs> everybody do. And oh God. The first thing on the agenda is that to beat her up. Yes. <laughs> when she report, I'm get to beat and him yeah. down. We just beat, beat her, her up. up. Yeah, but she still yeah. continue. She still continue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And my father was a classic. My father, one time he met for beating him a run. Mm -hmm. We live in a yard, one of them call it Big Yard. Mm -hmm. One gate from Penn Street and the other gate is on Rodney Street. Mm -hmm. So it's a good, a good 50 meters, you know, from the, from the back gate. To the other gate. Or from the front gate to the back gate. Mm -hmm. And so you can run. <laughs> All right, come here. <laughs> and we, we line up at the front gate and he say, yeah. when I say go, you run. <laughs> and I will run and so much lick I can give before you reach the back gate. <laughs> he say, go. And wop 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 wop, my father, I'm good. <laughs> Beat me. Back to school, I remember school, I school, school one day. Mm -hmm. One day, school, school, on go Paradise Street, a beach. Paradise Street is only them sell fish. They want us south. Mm -hmm. And that is when I did my father come to school. Those days, I tell you, those days is not when your parents carry you go to school the first day and come back when you graduate. Yeah. Check my father you. make checks. Mm -hmm. When he come out town, he make checks. Mm -hmm. When he go to school, I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Okay. When I went home the evening, it was in there. We wait, we wait, we wait until I reach home. So you learn at school today. And I started to tell him some foolishness. I said, yeah. I came to school the day I wasn't there where he was. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and in the course, library, studying. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, that is discipline. Beat me. I, don't want to, I, I just want to tell you one other story mm -hmm. about my father. Why? I couldn't be one of them rope. I have a brother, the one who follow me, very slick. Mother said we go to the supermarket and him work out as where or we can get something out of the, the money. Mm -hmm. So we're supposed to buy half pound of anchor butter. Mm -hmm. That cost about, you know them days, maybe about six pence or something like that. Mm -hmm. So him take the anchor butter, put it in pocket, we cash the rest of things go by. When him get back the change, him take out the five cent that the motor cost. And, and she, keep that for himself. You know, and share it and give me something yeah. out of it. Mm -hmm. the, mis the mistake I make is that I take it. One day, me and him are there in the yard to play marble. Mm -hmm. I'm with him. My father was sitting on the veranda. And he bring it up back. And he said, want the marble. Yeah. I said, no man, no win your marble, you can't get it back. And he started to cry, I want my marble. He said, no, get it back. And he said, you know, give me marble. That, 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 that's why you thief the button at the supermarket. Oh my word. Let's see, no, my father's ears turn up so. He said, what was that? <laughs> and he called both of us. And my brother relate the story. Mm -hmm. He said, but that is not me, it's him. Mm -hmm. That I said, but you the bigger one. Yes. And you never, and you take some of the money and I get beaten for one week straight. Mm -hmm. Every day, mm -hmm. him just call me. Yeah. And beat me, just yeah, for that. Does. And him always say, if I don't beat you, police will beat you. Yes. And every week, every day for one week straight, him just call me and beat me for that thing. 
father was a classic. Two, after the funeral now, as I say, I should have start Grantham College in January. My mother, we just have to leave to go to school and I go look at work. Mm -hmm. Never get any. I go back the Tuesday and go look at work. Mm -hmm. Never get any. I go back the Wednesday and go look at work and I almost don't get the work. But I decided I go talk to this man and tell him my situation. Mm -hmm. It was Fish Importers Limited. That it, it was at Last Street. Never mm -hmm. forget. And I put on the manager and I tell him my story. And he look for me good and then shake him head. And he say, all right, come work one day morning. Mm -hmm. Go home. Tell mama. Don't tell mama nothing. Well, I, took me t I told her that I was going to look. She said, you're crazy? Yeah. yeah. That is your be your father's biggest disappointment. Yes. If you don't go to school. I said, but who will help you? She said, God will provide. Well, them times, eh, me go Catholic school. Mm -hmm. I met the graduation. I was an altar boy. Mm -hmm. Walk with father. Damn you, so for me, school. It comes spirit to the world. Mm -mm. I never know what I said. So it, yeah. it, it's long time you're speaking unknown tongues. Yes, my word. <laughs> but them time it was inspired by man. Now when we yes. talk in tongues, it's inspired by the spirit. Thank so you it's long time you're talking unknown tongues. Yes. And Mama said, you can't go work. That would have been father that turned him grave. So the next week I put on my car, you know, mm -hmm. with book. But it's work I go. Yes. And when I get my first pain below. I go in and show it on the bed and give her and she wouldn't look and say, what is this? And the toy will open and cry. Oh God. The toy just open and cry. And we continue to work. Help send the rest to school. Help provide food and pay the bills. Mm -hmm. And this continued for how long? It I continue. We leave fishing port as limited and I got a job at United Printers. Yes. As I tell you, I was a printer, printer. by trade. Mm -hmm. The print my father died and left. Mm -hmm. I started to run that too. Mm -hmm. But the first job I get, I'm an asking 500 invitation for a dance invitation. I print it immaculately. I come and pick up and I don't get paid. Mm -hmm. My mother said, You see it. So that hit the business hard? Hit it hard. My mother just called. Some people and sell out the machine. Sell out everything. Sell out everything. Mm -hmm. So I get a job of United, United Printers. printers. Mm -hmm. You throw on a two color reel, yeah. mm -hmm. print Betty Millet, label and them things. Mm -hmm. And that continued till I was 18. That's which year now? This is 1969. 69, yes. One evening, mother come home and she say, Go get your coat mm -hmm. for the barber. Go to the barber and she said, clean up your shoes. So I clean my shoes and she said, press out a suit of clothes. I mm -hmm. said, what happened? She said, you don't worry yourself. The man she you know, beard and we get dressed and she get dressed and we turn through the gate. I said, Mama, where are we going? She said, when you reach, you will see. Mm -hmm. When we reach the bus stop, I see Herbie. Herbie is a community man, but he was a soldier. Yes. Living in the community. community. And mm -hmm. he was a soldier. And he my mother and me meet up at the bus stop and then start talking and then we get the bus to Crossroad. And then we start to walk from Crossroad and turn through a park camp gate. Mm -hmm. And then it down for me. Where my mother up to. Mm -hmm. Soldiering was the furthest thing from my mind. Yes. As a matter of fact, me was afraid of soldier in my room. He went through, she said, spines and said, go sit down and go do the test. Mm -hmm. And that is the greatest thing my mother ever did for me. The greatest thing my mother ever did for me. So you did the test and you were recruited? Do the test, pass the test, do the medical, pass the medical. Mm -hmm. 8th of August, 1969, me ended up in Newcastle. For training? For training. Mm -hmm. It's rough, tough, and I was a little soft boy now. Mm -hmm. 
Call all my brother when I tell you about you, so I'll beat me up. And I was not violent, I never liked to fight and all them things. Yes. Do the training, pass, come out and come up park camp now as a soldier. But they couldn't chat to me now, man, a soldier. Mm -hmm. Go back to the community and start to get some respect, you know. Good move you out and good move and your yeah. father would have powder yeah, you and yeah, yeah. what have you and them things. And then we move from Jonestown and go to the park. Mm -hmm. That is the first house we purchased. Mm -hmm. The little money we get from the father insurance, we get some money from Jamaica Federation and music, music can we put it together and we put our money together and we buy a house at Dunne Park and we move to Dunne Park. And camp, me live in a camp. Because mm -hmm. they give a place to live and feed you and everything. Mm -hmm. So when me have free time, then me go back now go look for my mother and go back and look and what, when I come and see what's up to you. Everybody know start to get big and start to go to school, but I was a sportsman. The only reason that I am not great at any sport is because I play too much sport. Mm -hmm. Never focus on any and Never focus on anyone. Mm -hmm. All rounder. Every sport that uses a ball and more, me represent the army. Me represent the army in a football division one is the name them time there. Little Major League, end up being the captain of the team all the time. Football, basketball, volleyball, hockey, mm -hmm. rugby, mm -hmm. table tennis. Mm -hmm. I was always on the army team. Mm -hmm. With the track and field, and with the boxing. Mm -hmm. The only sports we never really excel in is swimming. Yes. I never like swimming. Because yes. I always tell myself I never see no fish pants. Dry land. Pan I would walk for Carly Kim Dung or something like that. <laughs> and the yeah, army sent me overseas on a course, mm -hmm. physical training instructor course, because I'm a exploit. Mm -hmm. And I tell me to run 100, 200, 4 by 1, 400. And I play all of the games. Go England, Aldershot. Mm -hmm. Go on a six months course, came back, get me cross sword and Crown. Mm -hmm. And I um, became a physical training instructor. Mm -hmm. And I go back, I was transferred back to Newcastle as an instructor. Mm -hmm. To train the new recruit. To train new recruit. Mm -hmm. Initially, I went up there as a physical training instructor and then I started to double up, being a physical training instructor and a squad instructor where you teach tactics and drill and map reading and yes. shooting and them things. Mm -hmm. So. That was that when we transferred from Newcastle, come down, work. Remember 69, not 69, 1979. New market flood and them things. Mm -hmm. Work with food for fine people and them things. So that was the army career and as as tell you the best thing my mother ever ever do for me. So how did you meet your wife now? Newcastle. Mm -hmm. You have some civilians who work at Newcastle. One lady. She works at Newcastle by the civilian staff. So when you work there, they give you quarters mm -hmm. that they can live. So she had her quarters and she and my wife attended Tivoli Comprehensive. Mm -hmm. So when they get holiday now, she comes to spend time with her mother and my wife for her. And, you know, one reason I really go to like me and I book up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a second look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? So me go and go to, because me, I didn't know the friend, you know, because my mother, she come the other way. Yes. So me go and go to, and say to that. Yeah. It's our friend from school and things. I said, give me an intro now. Mm -hmm. And she gave me an intro. 
I was searching of no lot of parties for such a man, right? Yeah, you know, while you have woman a heavy tone, yes. And furthermore, if I leave you, can come to come and live a rose lane, yeah, and a bad place. Mm -hmm. And if a man find out, say, your shoulder, they may kill you. So, yeah. you know, you just leave yeah. me alone. She give all the excuses in the world, all the excuses, mm -hmm. leave me alone. Well, me never decide to leave her alone, so me find out her address, mm -hmm. which part of Rose Lane she live. And thrown up there one day. Mm -hmm. And she was, do ya, do ya? Surprise. Me not tell you nothing to come here. Mm -hmm. Me say, me no want no soldier. Want no bother, want no this. Me say, leave me alone. Mm -hmm. I just know I 75, you know. 25. That's 43 years ago. Yes. I'm saying. And, and the rest is history because rest you're, are still, history. you're still together but now after all after these years. After how how much children that. you had together? Three. Three children Only together. one alive though. One alive. Yeah. The first one, Kevin. Mm -hmm. He died at, after six months. Okay. And Kerry, mm -hmm. you all know, died with, at 27. So. Only Chris and she have our three grandchildren who sometimes I wonder who is more important to, to her if it's, it's them the grandchildren or are, me. I know exactly what you're because talking about. Because sometimes she's just a weird and then a man will flip and leave me alone at home. Yes. But I have no problem. I know. Yeah. I know. So grandparents are with yeah. their grandchildren. I know. So and tell us how long you stayed in the army and um, after you left where you went? I, I spent. 12 years of the army, mm -hmm. and I decided say 12 is enough. I want to go out, go try other things because I'll make it on what we said. Mm -hmm. They give you everything, you they need. gave everything, and if it stayed too long, you're not going to want anything for yourself. Mm -hmm. They gave food, they gave clothes, they gave bed for sleep, they gave everything. Mm -hmm. So, where you went? So, I left, and because of my sporting exploit, I get a job with Institute of Sport first. Mm -hmm. But Never comfortable. Never it, 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 it wasn't challenging. Yes. So you move on to another area. Move on and get a job at thermal plastic mm -hmm. as a security guard. As a security guard? Yes man, I pull gate and I write check. So gate you move there. from a soldier? A substantive class one sergeant. Class one sergeant to a to security a guard. To so a that's security a demo guard. you demote yourself. Well <laughs> I can't say no. Yes. That I think God did have one on the night. I me tell you them time they not the God thing. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, you know, my early years me also follow up Elijah Muhammad and Malcolm X and mm -hmm. Farrakhan. Mm -hmm. You also love the black power thing. And, mm -hmm. But I can see now that God have had a, had a hand in and, because and I went to thermal plastic mm -hmm. as a guard, check vehicle at the gate, lock vehicle. Mm -hmm. And what have you, open gate and thing. And six months, mm -hmm. no, to be exact, nine months that after that, yes. I, become, I become the security manager for thermoplastic. Security manager? For thermoplastic. From a security guard, guard to a security manager in nine months? In nine months. Wow. I was the security manager for thermoplastic. Because mm -hmm. I saw that you, you had much more potential right. that wasn't being used. Good. Mm -hmm. Do that. Then the owner of thermoplastic died. and. Mm -hmm. It's some Asian people, they, they told me them. Mm -hmm. And things that wasn't so well, good, lovely after the, the father died. Mm -hmm. You know? So Unity on? and what have you, and so I move on. Mm -hmm. And I go into the industrial security field. Yes. But oh, Alpha Security first. Yes. Then employ me as a supervisor. Yes. A quick, quick, I was a man, era manager for me, and Mandeville. Mm -hmm. Believe that I got protection and security. Mm -hmm. As a supervisor, quick, quick, more the operations manager. Mm -hmm. Leave that, went to you know, the government. Or in the free zone as a custom security officer. Yes. Quick, quick, I was a, was a supervisor. Mm -hmm. Then leave that and drop a Allied Protection Limited. Allied, and that's where you spend majority of your time. And when I, that was a company owned by a soldier. Yes. Donald Williams. Yes. The 
Mr. Davis, he was always a soldier. Well, that not only was one of my instructor at Newcastle. Mm -hmm. When I was a recruit. Yes. And Mr. Jackson. Mm -hmm. And you started out back as a security guard again? Yes, man. I started as a, a senior guard at Sovereign Centre. Sovereign. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's where I started. As a senior guard at Sovereign Centre. And one day, Mr. Williams was talking and he said, I hope this is the last place I am employment. I mean, it looks so innocent, it looks so. Anyway, we lose Sovereign after that, a couple of months after, and I was made former senior security guard on location to a senior operations supervisor, mobile supervisor. So mm -hmm. I had to drive now and go up and road. Mm -hmm. Right? And when I retired, I spent 20 years there. When right I retired, 28th of February, 20th of June, mm -hmm. two Fridays ago. Yes, sir. I was the assistant operations manager. So you moved from a security guard up to the assistant operations, operations manager. manager. Mm -hmm. And you spent how much years there? 20, 20 years. Mm -hmm. So, life has been good. Mm -hmm. The church, going to the church 1989. Yes. My wife joined me to the church because she went and she gets saved. Mm -hmm. Laugh far she come and tell me she said she get the Holy Ghost. Yes. She go to church and get the Holy Ghost, I laugh and say the Holy Duppy. Mm -hmm. Remember me used to laugh and think. Mm -hmm. she, she invite me. But eventually you came and uh, get the Holy Ghost too. Yes. Get the Holy Duppy too. <laughs> <laughs> and I was there and you know, me leave. Mm -hmm. So tell us about your daughter. Um, I know she, she know she's no longer with us, but just tell us about the last last lap of the journey for her. Blessed soul, blessed, blessed, blessed soul. Kerian. Kerian was like her mother. Mm -hmm. She's a very caring child. I was just there work and me just see her parents. Oh, I'm Dada, daddy, mm -hmm. you yeah, alright? Bring a sandwich for you. Mm -hmm. Give me a lunch money or what have you. Mm -hmm. She went to Harding High School. She went to Kerry live a full life mm -hmm. in her 27 years. Mm -hmm. Went to school, went to college, becomes a teacher, married, have a child, mm -hmm. buy a car, all of that in 27 years. Mm -hmm. And of course, the same sickness her brother have. Yes. TTP. TTP. Don't ask me what it means. Yes. Because I can't pronounce yeah, the word. that's okay. So it was while um, she was in labor or... She, she was pregnant. She was pregnant, yes. And Chris came up. That's it, that brother came up this Saturday and all of them meet up on me. She, Chris, O'Neill. O'Neill was her husband? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And have a good time. She went home. She was living on after all of our road. So and Chris now the son was going back home to Mandeville and he stopped to tell her bye bye. I'm being a doctor, he never like how she looked and him look in her eye and she said, him say no no no. Go, you must take her to the hospital now. I wasn't there, me that bochi. Mm -hmm. Must take her to the doctor now and mm -hmm. the first thing you must check is her platelet. Yes. And the care of hospital. Check our platelet and our platelet was 27. 27. What and it should be normally? 250 and yeah, above. And above. And it was 27. Mm -hmm. so it was extremely low, critical yes. low. Yes, and she was she was nine months pregnant. Mm -hmm. And the platelet is the thing that caused the blood to clot and, clot. Don't, and don't run out. Don't run out. When it's that low, if a pin joke here can be to death. Yes. If it is low, it, 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 it yeah, pain. Yeah, because I mm -hmm. blood thin. You mm -hmm. can bleed to death. Mm -hmm. Well, she was there from the Sunday, the Monday, the Tuesday, the Wednesday. Well, the Monday, they took the baby from her. And the baby lived for four hours and, and died. And this Wednesday, she come out of, she became conscious and we talk and she started to tell me her plans and what she was going to do when she come out of the hospital and thing. The sickness you have to get plasma. Mm -hmm. Them transfused with plasma. And mm -hmm. we couldn't get any. And some they get some a man. Man not mandible, man to go be. Mm -hmm. So Chris sent an ambulance seat, mm -hmm. bring it to him in, in Mandeville, and me and O'Neill go feet. Mm -hmm. 
a Monday. Bro. This was a Friday. While we were there, we stopped and have something to eat. Mm-hmm. And my phone rang and my wife said, Come now, come now, carry it. Fall back in and conscious state. Mm-hmm. And tell O'Neill and we jump up. Mm-hmm. And O'Neill said, We drive. I never know that I live for Rich Kingston. <laughs> Put on a piece of driving. Wow. <laughs> I said, O'Neill, take your hand on me, I just hold on and only drive on. I'm more reach in the quickest possible time. We reach with the blood and thing, but it was too late. Too late. God bless him, soul pastor. John Mark Bartlett was there. Mm-hmm. Kirk Williams was there. Miss Wilma. Mm-hmm. Miss Wilma. If you don't know, carry mother. And you you don't believe Miss Wilma? Mm-hmm. It's Kerry's mother. Mm-hmm. That's her mother-in-law. Her mother-in-law, O'Neill's mother. Mm-hmm. She treat her like her own daughter. Oh, dear man. And from Monday, I have to tell them, so oh, look here, you know, we smell, you know, go and go bed. Yes. They don't want them to just, leave up there. They don't want to leave the hospital, the two of them. Yes. Morning, night, noon, they just dead in the hospital. Yes. Both mother and mother-in-law. Mother and mother-in-law. Yes. God bless Miss Wilma's soul. And the Friday night, sometime at well, they do a, a, a scan and then show the thing and say, well, only divine intervention. Mm-hmm. Our, our brain was full yeah. with blood. And pastor said, I to try that divine intervention and we started to pray. But my prayer was, when everybody in the hospital, yeah. my You're prayer only was, for the worst. God prepare me for what you're going to do. Come yes. and see what you're going to do. Yes. I said, just prepare me mm-hmm. for deal with what you going to do. Yes. And so said, so done. Mm-hmm. Both after one, the doctor called me and said, she passed. First man, I have to jump on his own hill. Yes. I have to jump on his and hold him down. That's your husband? Yes, man. I have to mash up the hospital. Yes. And Miss Wilma, my wife, pastor, was there and helped me. And I can tell you, Pastor Bartlett is my pastor mm-hmm. and my friend. Mm-hmm. He's there not only in our church setting but, but you know at your lowest moment. My, what my daughter did after eleven. Mm-hmm. After one. And we see that them fix her up and move her off and thing. And when you leave the hospital, I think Pastor go home and we are going. Pastor come put more with us. Yes. Uh, we have prayer in my house and pray for you and comfort you and say they are right. Mm-hmm. He never leave four months till about four o'clock in the morning. Yes. Him and Kirk Williams and, he, and we and go home. Mm-hmm. And that was that. But my, 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 my journey with the Lord now is that we come to 1989 and after a while me leave, you know. Mm-hmm. Them call it backslide. Yes. Me backslide and me come back out of church. Mm-hmm. For more reason than one. Chris now. Same sickness. And I remember nine, 2005. Chris is your son? Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Him get an attack of the same sickness. The same TTP? Same TPP. And I go to the hospital and I... Me and him alone in the room and I say, Chris, me is just a lame man. Me is not a doctor. Tell me how sick are you? Mm-hmm. And I say, Daddy, very sick. Mm-hmm. We can just stay and just dead. Mm-hmm. And how much was his platelet level? Zero. Like nothing. You couldn't find a count. I I, I think it is in a, it's in a some medical journal. Yes. Journal. I going find it. The only man. Yes. Not in Jamaica. Not in the Caribbean. In the world. In the world, platelet has ever gone to get zero. Play that count and I'm still, still alive. alive. Still alive. That's a, that's unheard of. You know Never me? heard of before. You know me call him? A miracle. <laughs> me call him. They have a show name. Me call him the walking dead. Mm-mm. Dead man walking. Jesus. Anytime you see me. Because say, he was practically dead. He was dead. If you let us zero. Me said dead man You're walking. supposed to bleed right out. Me said dead man walking. Mm-hmm. He wake up on him and see blood on him pillar. Yes. And I was very scared. And in full show. Mm-hmm. But that day, I was in the, at the hospital, I mean, I'm in the room, I come out. Mm-hmm. Some doctors go visit him. 
and I was on the balcony leaning over up the railing on a calico prayer too. Mm -hmm. And the doctors them visit and came out. While they was walking past me, don't know the connection. Then I hear one of them utter these words that boy, what a pity. Such a promising doctor. Mm -hmm. And Can they write him off. Give they him write over them to them. And them were getting dead. Yes. And them say what a promising doctor. Mm -hmm. Promising young doctor. And it worked out all to not. Yeah. Because he didn't make it. Yeah. And I tell him that's a little prayer. I me remember the story with Abraham and his son. Mm -hmm. And I say, God, show me my ram. Mm -hmm. A ram must be somebody who to me, you show me my yeah, ram. Ram in the ticket. And it's like something just said to me, say, your soul. Mm -hmm. And that was when you made that turn. Yeah. So your, your soul. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, all right. Mm -hmm. And it's Sunday morning, I was in church. Mm -hmm. And at least 2005, 2018 now. Yes. And yeah, forget a cannon to shoot me out of that cabin <laughs> alley. <laughs> man, man, Mr. Fisher, you have so much stories. Um, we probably have to carry you back another time to do a part two. But um, you. I said just want to tell you now, before I finish, mm -hmm. the lady, Lady Fletcher. Mm -hmm. That's your wife? My wife. She is amazing, amazing. Mm -hmm. She is single and deadly, responsible for who I am today. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing woman. Yes. Amazing, amazing. I made me do some wicked things in life. Yes. And she remains true, she remains well, faithful. She remains true and faithful. Yes. Amazing lady, man. Amazing lady. So you just want to um, um, just big her up big and her up and, think, and thank God for her okay. and just ask for long life. She's mm -hmm. amazing. So you said earlier that you are now retired. Um, in, the, in the final moments, what are you going to do now in your retirement years? You're just going to stay home or... Yeah, Initially, mm -hmm. I am home. Mm -hmm. Me and my wife, they're home. My people them gone. Mm -hmm. Just throw away alone at the house. Mm -hmm. Which... The turnaround is I used to, she retired two years ago. Yes. So you're both retired. We are both retired. You can go go on a lot of tours, man. So <laughs> Not I, used to go, I used to go to work and leave she alone at the house. Yes. And maybe that is why she used to run go man every, every day. Yes. So both of us are doing now one. We are planning some little things. Yes. We are planning some little things. But mm -hmm. I don't know, I still have is either me go work with church. Yes. Find some useful thing to do for the church mm -hmm. or or some coming, other business or venture some other business venture because yes. we still have some 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 zim yes and you're not you're not out yet you're no, still sir. young and strong we still we still well i want to tell people they're 67 they tell me like yeah because our yeah, earlier years you were so active and things mm -hmm. so you know well thank you mr fletcher for joining us this week you had a lot to share and we hope that you will be successful in your future endeavors. Bless you, sir. Thank you so much for joining us for another in the series of A Story to Tell. Reminding you to like our videos on YouTube and also subscribe to us on YouTube. You search for TTN and you will find it or you type in A Story to Tell and you'll find us on YouTube. All right, so until next time, have a great day.